Tonight, Dave drives a red car, I drive a brown car, and I do an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger. A classic car! Hello and welcome back to the show. Now, as you may know, a lot of cars on GTA Online are very, very expensive. So, as a result of this, me and Dave thought, what about if we were to buy a second-hand cheap car and see if it could stand up to the usual GTA Online shenanigans? Yes, and the producers liked this idea very much. So they gave us a budget of 15 grand and told us to go out there and buy any car we wished. And we would then go through a number of challenges. Right, so... I've just arrived now at the meeting place, which is the Los Santos Riverbed thing, and I have bought this, the Albany Emperor. It's got a big V8 at the beginning, and, well, I say at the beginning, the big V8 at the bonnet, and it's very brown, and, you know, brown's a cool colour, there's nothing wrong with brown, and I've just, I've bought myself a classic sedan, and I'm pretty sure whatever Dave's bought for the same price, it's going to be just terrible. And with no surprise, it was terrible. Da, 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 da. Oh dear. <laughs> what the hell is that? This, my friend, is What's a Vapid Peyote. I have travelled specifically back to the 1950s to retrieve this sports classic. It's not a sports classic. You've just bought a hipster's car. You look like the Terminator. It's like, ah, oh, we got to go back to the future. Oh, I got to buy myself a classic your car. car. You could have had any car in GTA. Why brown? Why that it, colour? Brown's a cool colour. It's the colour for chocolate. It's a colour for turd, too. Well, it, 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 there's nothing wrong with the colour brown. It doesn't make me any different to what I am now. People in those kind of cars are hipsters. Okay. People who drive these cars are old have men. Stu no, style and simplicity. That's the kind of people who drive these cars. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the challenge. Okay. Right, so, it says here, your challenge is to simply do a drag race, one on either side of the Los Santos River. The winner is who finishes across the line first. Right, um... Okay, that's easy enough. That can't be too hard. Yeah, go on, let's do this. Okay, um, there's a bridge not too far down here. The first person across the bridge, we'll say, is the winner. Okay? Okay, sounds good. Right, so here we go. Um, do you want me to count down? Uh, yeah, sure. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I got a lot of wheel spin. Oh, I got a lot of wheel spin there. I don't know who's in the lead. Nice, here we go. Now, I know for a fact that my top speed is higher than that of Tom's. No, well, in the GTA, in the Los Santos Customs, my car has a top speed of just about three bars. And I think Dave's is three and a half, and we can see that now. Oh god, I can't see him. Now, I was worried that his higher acceleration would beat my car, but I oh, don't think that's going to quite cut it here. Where's the finish? The bridge, we just went past it. Oh. Uh, get out of the water before I drown my car. <sighs> well, best of three? Nah. And unfortunately, after that abysmal performance from me, my dignity was in tatters. There's no, you cheated. You obviously cheated in that. There's no way. Yeah, I cheated because I got the better car. No, you've got the worst car. Okay, yeah, sure. I got the worst car, therefore I somehow beat you. Beat your better car. Does that give a good impression to their manufacturers? Does it, Tom? Can we just get on with the next challenge? Right, so, your next challenge is to drive back to the Los Santos Customs in the centre of the city to upgrade your chosen vehicles in whatever way you wish with the remaining budget of $15,000. Ooh, how much do you have left? How much was your car? Um, about 3800 Really? Yeah. That much? Mine? $800. Hmm. So I have a lot more money to spend on my car. Does it say whatever way you wish as well? Yeah, whatever way we wish. Oh man, I'm going to have a spoiler. Oh, I'm going to whip the hell out of this car. I mean, we've just seen how fast they are. There's no way, you know, we'll need to make them any faster. These... This would be great. Oh yeah. Let's do this. 
Hello, buddy. What the hell have you done, man? What? <laughs> it's the fat and furious. <laughs> What the hell? As if it wasn't hipster enough. What have you done? I have made the best car in GTA what are ever. What on the sides? I don't know, but I like <laughs> them. <laughs> are they spikes? I don't even know. People. Oh my god. You know what? I don't care if I <laughs> went over the budget with this. I'm keeping this car. I thought I was proud of my Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? He just painted it a different colour! Yeah, but look at the alloys! It's proper. What alloys? <laughs> oh my, the tyres! <laughs> As if... <laughs> Hang on, you're saying that I'm hipster and yet you got dollar signs on I'm your tyres! Ghetto. ghetto is cooler than being hipster! Right, so the next challenge... Uh, oh, you idiot. Oh, that's a little harsh. Uh, even though you have both modified your cars, what you shall both be doing next is placing bounties on each other's heads and seeing who can survive the longest. Yeah, doesn't sound too bad, I guess. In a public server. Whoever survives the longest wins the challenge. Did you do any engine upgrades to your car as opposed to aesthetics? No, have you? Well, my engine's no. bigger, so people can shoot it easily. Well, I I might go buy some bulletproof tyres. So here we are, viewers. Both of us have lined up somewhere in an area of some sort. The I think it's best we just put bounties on each other's heads. Right, let's ring Leicester. Now, I think it... Dave, yes, Dave is heading towards the countryside. And being a wimp, what I have planned is to go into the city because it's the most obvious thing to do, and they won't expect that. I'm just looking now. There does seem to be someone coming after you. Oh God! <laughs> there is. Someone's going after you, Dave. Well, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Oh dear. Who are you? Uh, everywhere and nowhere. Oh shit! That guy's turning round. What guy? The guy who was chasing you has now turned round. Wait, is he, is he or is he still going after you? No, he's still going after you. Oh dear. I thought this would be scary. This is easy. Uh -huh. Oh, he looks like he's gaining on my tail quite a bit. It does seem to me that everyone seems to be at the top of the map. And that is now where I am currently driving to. Okay. So in that case, I will go to the bottom. That still doesn't get rid of that problem of him being on my toes. This guy wants to kill you. There's no way around it. Come on, man. I'm sorry if I don't upload so frequently. Whoa! God, whoa! What the hell are you doing? Are you? Okay. Oh, I can see you. Oh my god, he's right by you! Hi! This could be a, This could be a victory for me! Kill him! This was a time where I decided to go a little bit more offensive. Are you shooting him? No. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm gonna die! Yes! I've won a top gear challenge! <laughs> You're dead! That's it, I've won! Yes! <laughs> right, so as we just saw in that film there, I had the better car and I won that challenge in fact. What are mm -hmm. you doing? Yeah. Why the- Bravo. Bravo. This... Yeah. Really? Is there a need for that? Look, I won the challenge fair and square. you just seen that in the film. Sure, sure, Grandad. Look, sure, you... sure. Look, shut it, hipster, because you lost and I won. And on that bombshell, everybody, it's time to end the show. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more content on this channel. Please be sure to subscribe to Dave as he helps me out one hell of a lot throughout these videos. Links will be in the description. And be sure to stay tuned because next week we've got another epic challenge. See you guys then. Goodbye. <laughs>